the Gunners podcast. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, let's go see. Okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, are you in a good mood? But I don't know what reason. <laughs> Anyways, welcome again, people. This was the first time I ever messed up the introduction, so I have to do it again. But welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Community Shield game. <laughs> the first silverware of the season. Yes, it's a, mm-hmm. um, a dignified friendly. I don't care. We want it's a silverware to put in the cabinet. Yeah, and, bro. So, anyways, we're back. It's me, Dylan, and we have Relit. And let's get right into it, my boy. Start, start us off. Start us off. Start us off. Jury, <laughs> wicked man. Jury and Timber, bro. Like. This guy is just awesome, bro. Like, he just gives us a different... I love aggressive defenders, right? And the fact that he has this low center of gravity as well, because Ben White is aggressive, you know? But Timber just gives us different... Like, he can get out of tighter spaces that Ben White might not be able to do. He, he has that aggression. He has that speed, that recovery, that dog. He, he, he's almost like a pit bull himself, right? So... Yeah, bro, I just, I just love this guy. I, I, I can't see... Well, I wouldn't say I can't see how Zinchenko gets back in the team. I wouldn't say that. But... Until fully fit. It's not rotation and this team is going to rotate. But I love that Ben White soccer partnership. And I don't want to mess that up. And Timba is just playing so well on the left. So, yeah, bro, right now for me, it's competition between Timba and Zinchenko as it relates to starting positions. Tierney is going to play a role, but not as a starter for me. He'll come on, he'll do what he does as Tierney, strengthen up, whatever, right? So, yeah, bro, I just team up, bro. Man of the match for me in that day, bro. You know what I think we could do real quick? A quick play ratings. All right, let's go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ramsdale. Ah. Uh, seven. Mm-hmm. I agree. I think he he really showed us. He was, he was like, remember me. Remember me. Yeah, bro. Um, ben White. Benjamin Whittaker. Um, seven as well. Um, I don't think he, he, his man beat him once. Solid. Yeah, bro. Just, just, just a solid, solid player, bro. I remember when he just came, not to go off tangent. 50 million, everybody was balling. But Artit had plans, bro. <laughs> he had man plans. Plan. My man of the match. Saliba. Just, just, just brilliant, bro. Fuck it. Can Fuck I give it. the rating? Can I give the rating? Yeah, bro. Go. Ten. Brilliant, bro. I'm not, I'm not, no joke. Ten. I don't know what, what more could he have done. Did you see when cover switch went through? And he just, it's like him just, like everybody else was going in, lunging in, and him just shepherd him off. The one just said, yeah. excuse me, excuse me, give, give the ball, ball back to my keeper. Just, just top, top, top class, top class. And yeah. when, and sorry, sorry, I, I know I should have given this one to you, but I had to take it. You see, at the, the end of the game, when he was getting there, you remember the formation? Hmm. One defender back, you know? <laughs> and Saliba didn't even look bothered. He, he was just like, oh, okay. Yeah, man, make this say one defender. Make us start with this in the season. The man, it, it, was just, it was just... I think that was the game that I always knew that Gabriel was good and the partnership was strong. But Saliba alone, like, that was the game that showed me that he's so many levels ahead of Gabriel. Mm-hmm. Maybe in the partnership they complement each other well, you know. But Gabriel to me cannot do that. Bro, and another cannot. thing, you remember that time as well, like later on in the, the, the game, before we, we, we scored, like mm-hmm. he was way down in our half and we're trying to get the ball up. And he was surrounded by city players and my bro just shield off KDB and just wheel through the mega. KDB have a kick dog. Yeah, bro. That's it. Every day you call me though. Bro, if I didn't ever pull in, the man just kick away ball and the man name waste time. <laughs> just simple things like that. 
separates elite ballers from regular ballers. And a lot of people... Bro, 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 bro a lot of people don't even realize the difference. Because if it was a defender that kicked away the ball, we would have been... The team would have been down defending. But because he has that composure and he has that about him, the team ends up attacking. You see me, bro? So, quality, quality player, bro. Yeah, bro. Uh, um, <laughs> it's seven or eight. I'm not sure we're in that because obviously he did work some work with Holland. But it wasn't a world-class performance. It wasn't his best performance in an Arsenal shirt. But he did everything that he needed to do, right? I don't know if you agree with that. I will say 7.5. We give point yeah, five. If, if so. I have to give it, it, it's not an 8 performance. Because we know what Gabriel does when he gives an 8 performance. Yeah, bro. But it wasn't a 7. Alright, Timbo. 9, bro. Yes, yes, we keep it. He just needs to work on that. But maybe he doesn't because we have five substitutions now. Uh, I wouldn't say he need to work on the fitness so he can stay for 90. Matches are going to be played for 100 minutes, so we can't expect that the back line isn't going to change. So, yeah, bro, just, just a quality play. I just love watching him. So, nine. And he's playing left back. He hasn't played left back since he was in the academy. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't. Like, there's not. I, I feel like Arsenal fans are getting, especially in our group chat, they're just getting too much. I'm asking too much now. Just take <laughs> yourself off the high horse for a minute and just and just enjoy it. Mm -hmm. It was just a solid performance for a player that is playing. Imagine if Holy was playing there, how they would be balling, screaming, kicking and crying. <laughs> like Timba, Timba is playing out of out of position. Mm -hmm. So we can run through it. Thomas. Thomas. Thomas, yo, bro, that man gets a nine from me as well, you know. And if it wasn't, if it wasn't for the spin that he got, um, he would have gotten ten. But I, I still want to give him it, but he, they did end up scoring the goal, and I can't blame the referee because it already happened. But just going off tangent a little bit here, bro. Right? If Thomas Party did not have that yellow card. The goal would not have been scored because he would have fouled him, right? No, there's nothing wrong with him getting a yellow card. But if he's going to get a yellow card, City players have to get that yellow card as well when they do their foolishness. Because what happens now is City players can afford to make that challenge later on in the game when we're chasing it, right? So I, I just need referees to just improve on their officiating this season, bro. I'm trying to remain calm. But yeah, bro, nine. Agreed. Oh, one second. For the Declan. I would give him a 7.5. Really? Um, yeah, you know, yeah I agree. He was, he was good. Not, I wouldn't say he had the same dominance like party, but he did his job. He filled in when he needed to. And you know what? I'll raise it to an eight because after doing like the tactical... Um, review of the game and stuff like that. I saw what he was doing to Rodri and it can go on some more while things that players are doing. It might not look pretty and it might not look pleasing while you're watching the game but after doing tactical reviews you see the amount of work and how important their role was. So I'll give him an 8. Agreed. I think when you well for anybody that needs to look from a tactical perspective he was literally running down Rodri and quieting yeah. him because it yeah. was like we had two defensive midfielders in something and I know I need to run through, but two defensive midfielders doing two different things on the field. And it was mm. it was beautiful to watch. Because they, were, they had one defender in the first phase and you had another defender in their phase of build up. Yeah, bro. And it was it was the kind of I've never seen anything like it. and and Havertz and Odegaard pressing and Saka and Martinelli on the wings. Um, blocking passing lanes, just it was wow. a tactical masterclass by Arteta. The only problem was, we'll get to it. Anyways, however, I mean, Rice for that game, people were talking about fitness. It's not fitness. The man played a role that was different, and yeah, he bro. showed 
When you run down Bernard and kick him, that's why I give him the aid. When you run down yeah, Bernard, that's what I remember. That's what I remember, bro. Anyways, as we need to run through, soccer. Soccer. Um, seven. Yeah. Decent game. A little quiet. Yeah. Understandable, cause he might. By, by his standards, if a regular player did what he did. Like everybody would say, whoa, this guy is wicked, but we expect high, like ex- spectacular things from Saka. So seven. And it was a good he took a good corner still and he helped. And he did give the assist for Trussard goal. Yeah. But Trussard had to do a lot of work with the pass anyway. So for me, that's why he gets the seven and not the six. I don't think I'd give him the eight. He's closer to yeah. the six. Other guard. Wicked piece, Amanda. Man was there. Spinning cover stitch. Turning on a weaving. Broken um, Alvarez ankle. Patting him on the back. <laughs> Come here, my son. Come here, my son. <laughs> so yeah, bro. I'll give him a nine, bro. Captain's performance. He, 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 he played many different roles in just that one game. Like, when we needed him to be that creative spark, when we needed him to be sitting, he was there. So nine, bro. Agreed. Martinelli. I'd give him, let me think a bit first. Same like Saka, seven. I, yeah. I'm, I'm edging between, for Saka, it was between seven and eight. For Martin, it was between six and seven. But he did a very good job. Um, So I'll give him the seven. All right. I, I don't really have any comments with that. I feel like he's getting used to having two players with him. Because he was not as isolated and helpless in that game. So I think that's something that we need to think about. And Havertz as well likes the left space as well. So I think that's something that he's adjust- you can really see that he's adjusting. So this is no hate on my, my guy Gabby, but just to give context for the viewers. All right, the man who led the line, Kai Havertz. It. Very good game, bro. Apart from, I wouldn't even say the chances that he got were clear cut that he had to score. A lot of quality strikers still aren't scoring that on his weaker foot. He was closer to the post than a lot of people knew. So he had to really wrap his foot around that. And the keeper saved it. So and the other one he was off balance. He did good to turn and get the shot off. So yeah, bro. I, I would look more to his hold up play, how he connected play. Um and all and of those. Sorry thinking about sorry to cut you. But when you're trying to hold off Ruben Diaz and Rodri. Ruben Diaz is a tank, you know? Like, mm. have you seen that man? The man Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> that man started to get to work off my run, dog. Like, the man is, the man is you <laughs> and Rodri too, brother. R- yeah. Pull off all Rodri. Like, trust me, I, I, I was, I was really impressed. And I think that if he, I see, I see Mikel's vision. Like, he does not think about positions like how people think about positions anymore. You could see it in the game. The man was like, yeah, man, have it. The man dropping back in midfield for a point. Like, it, the way he's thinking about football is just so different. And that's why I'd give him an eight. Like, it's hard for have We know that he's not a clinical finisher. So what exactly. is more than that standard? Anyways, we need to run through these, these subs really, really, really quick. Tierney. Six, standard. I think five. He was, I think he had a big, he, he could have done more to prevent the goal. It was a lucky ricochet, bro. It was no, a lucky ricochet. I think, I think he could have done more to prevent the goal. Because he's, he's fresh, you know, and Tierney fast. So I think... But they remember, he had to watch the overlapping run. So well, that's true. Anyway, that we won't well. I'll do my guy last. But Eddie and Ketia next. Eddie was on the field? Standard yeah, okay. six. Standard <laughs> Smith row. Seven, bro. My guy came on and he did his thing, bro. Seven. Fabio Vieira. Winning penalty, bro. Vieira penalty. Just like for, mm. just like just like Vieira in the um O five or um FA Cup. Same thing, bro. So yeah, bro, I'll give him a, a 8. Agreed. At the end of this video, well, we have one more person after this. 
But to end off this video, trust side. Wicked man, bro. Just trust him. It's in his name. So any Arsenal fans out there watching this now, trust or trust him. You see me? Trust or trust him. I'll give him a 10, bro. Just massive, massive performance. That 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 goal was just the edge that we need. That that just imagine if that didn't go in, how we would be talking now, how we would be reacting now. So just a very, yeah, very we're, we're justifying everything. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but he, he, the one thing, if you watch Rory Jennings, the man always talks about the history books, right? The man spoke about the Man City performance and just the end of this video. Well, before we talk about the gaffer, but he always talks about the player that scores the last goal that will be enwritten in the folklore of the club is the man that you'll remember from that game. Uh-huh. He's not Timber inverting. It's not Declan Rice holding off Rodri. It's the man that kicked the ball in the net. Same way like Rodri in the Champions League final. Right? We don't remember how he was dealing with everybody and taking away the ball. It's the way that him smashed the ball in the net. So I think for that reason, 10. Because he's written in the folklore of our club forever. <laughs> Finally. And I have to go right after this. Mikel. Super Mikel Arteta. 10, bro. That's massive, ten. massive. The ten. change is where it for me, bro. Like, yeah, bro, 10. Subs were on point. Fully on point. Anyways, guys. It has been a great video. As we get into the Premier League season, just get ready for the match reactions. Get ready. <laughs> a lot is coming. And we're ready to cook for you guys. Yeah, bro. Fire. We're already by gas. The gas now run out. This season we'll have 38 games and 38 videos that we're promising for you guys. Mm. Right? So just enjoy. Like, subscribe, tell a friend. We will be famous, you know. Will. That is almost. Yes. That is so, almost. Yeah, just enjoy our journey. And if there's anything you want to say to add before we just wrap up, but it's been a wonderful preseason journey so far with you, my bro. And I just can't wait for the season with the emotions. Same, bro. Thanks again, everyone, and we'll see you again. The Gunners Podcast. <laughs>